This is the far north of Scotland, a place we know Mesolithic Britons lived, and when they came here, they would have found one of my favourite resources, shellfish. Well, I'll tell you what, Gordon, it's one of those, it's one of those days today, and the tide's on its way out. You can see gradually the shore exposing, but the wind's blowing on shore, so there's one of these eternal battles between the tide and the wind. Is the wind winning at the moment? The, the wind is holding the tide in a bit, and of course that means that we won't see so much of the beach today. All oh, right. But here it's fantastic, you know, look at all this seaweed. In amongst all of this, we can find food, although at the moment we only see seaweed, but with a, with a hook stick, we should find some other foods. Look, ah, mussels. Yes. Indeed, yes, there we are. Some good sized mussels here. Look at that, that's a nice one. And of course, you wouldn't pick the really small ones, you'd let those grow on okay. and come back another day. So, I'm not, I'm not uprooting this seaweed, I'm just pulling it out of the way so we can see what's really underneath it. And as we work our way down towards the shore, they should get bigger. Some really nice sized mussels here. I like to be right on the edge of the tide going out oh, yes. because there's a chance of seeing something trying to oh, scuffle that's away. Idea, yes. um, I think it looks like a little eel. Oh, yeah. oh wow. Oh, amazing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Lamp there. Oh, yeah. Quite nice we're letting yeah, him go back, it? he's too small to eat. But of course, as you know, in, in a lot of societies, the children, that would have been a child's meal where perhaps further down the beach would have been dad looking for something a little larger. And doubtless the children would have cooked it up as their own little meal at the head of the beach? Oh yeah, I don't think they'd have missed that. So we let him go, let him go back to where he came from. Give him a little bit of cover from the cormorants. Look under a few rocks, Gordon. Look, oh yes, that mother load of winkles. That massive load. I'm actually just reaching with my hand there. That was a lucky find, wasn't it? Yes. It's a very abundant resource, isn't it? Incredibly abundant. Now, what, what, what times of the year can you use mussels particularly? Well, that's a thing. They're a bivalve, so they're, they're filter feeding. So if they're near to a sewage outfall today, oh, they're right. going to concentrate the muck. And what, what, what and, a natural... Uh, uh, well, there's a dinoflagellate algae. You get blooms of these in the oceans. They're particularly associated with cold, upwelling uh, currents of water. It is a problem, and this causes a type of poisoning that, that is very serious. It paralyzes you, basically. So that's that serious? It's very serious. But there's another abundant type of shellfish which was really high on the Mesolithic menu. Limpets. We don't use limpets much today because they're hard to gather, it's difficult to collect them commercially, but they are very good, and uh, certainly our ancestors used them. Now, how did you detach those? I, used to, I just bashed them with a rock, Gordon. Okay. A little rock here. So the, the limpet secret is to, you've got to sneak up on them. The moment you know they're there, they clamp down, I see, so like they, that. They, 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 they <laughs> yeah, you have to give them quite a clout. Right. Gordon seems to have taken a fancy to these limpets, but my favourite kind of shell food is found only at very low tides on sandy beaches. We've no idea how our ancestors would have gathered these, but for me, using salt is the best way to gather the delicious razor shell. What do you think? Superb. What a huge foot. It's amazing. The amount of meat in that, presumably, is uh, very substantial. So how they put it down, make a fist, and yes. pull themselves trying, in. Trying to pull themselves down. You never dig them out. They move far too quickly. So that's, the, that's the action. That's, it's amazing to see. Amazing creatures. That's a good size too, and they're very good eating. I've never tried one. Ha ha. The trick is patience. If you hold the shell tightly when it emerges, the foot soon exhausts itself, and then it's easy to pull it out. Mind you, you still need to step lightly 
in order to gather them. So would you reckon the, the East Racer shells are the high point of shellfish eating? They're very good eating. I don't know why we don't eat them. It's just because you know, we eat with our eyes in Britain, don't we? If you go to Paris, on the streets of Paris, they sell razor shells. Do they? Amazing. I like foraging on the coastline. It reminds me of time spent with Aboriginals. They have a different pace to their life. Although there's only a small window of opportunity, tidewise, you can't rush this job. You have to go slowly and steadily and look carefully 